Hello Scrappy Friends, welcome back. Um, can you believe it's my 100th process video? I uh, just really love to thank everybody for their support, especially over the past couple of months uh, with how the channel's grown. Um, I am on day six of 31 days of cut files here. Um, this is the real life cut file from Janet Fritz, aka Galaxy Girl Creations. Um, week two of the uh, 31 days of cut files is uh, a series of cut files designed by Janet and then week three next week are designed by MK Gun. Um, some assembly required so there and they're the two uh, creatives that have organized the hop and the the challenge there's a great Facebook group um, to go check out I'm just showing you there that with the with the cut file uh, in Scan and Cut Canvas, I have created uh, a, an outline. So I've gone into um, into the editing settings and created an out outline of the original cut file, which I've cut in black. Um, so and then I've gessoed that outline, which I've cut in on um, heavyweight mixed media white cardstock, um, so that I can use my gelatos. They move about and and that a lot better on a gesso background um, and so yeah so just adding my gelatos here and not adding any water to the gelatos I know I've pulled the water in um, I was gonna add the gelatos and then use the paintbrush to move them about but I decided to go with the old fingertip the way that Catherine um, Inky Finger Cat had shown me when she first got me using gelatos so I use three colours and um, I've got squid ink I can't remember what the blue is and then I go with banana um, for the yellow section which I do in a minute you also see those reels as well um, that isn't a separate cut file that again is something I've done in scan and cut canvas with the with the original cut file you can see it's top of the screen there in black bear with squeaky chair um, so I've I've um, basically played about in scan and cut canvas and cut the um, reel apart from the rest of the cut files so that I can use that separately as embellishments. I then realised that there's a cut file in week, in the last week from Pear Tree Cut Files which is that reel um, or a similar reel that would have gone with it um, but I realised that after I'd already played in canvas and, and cut the reel apart um, from it. So that's the base all coloured and I'm just putting some two-way glue on the back of the black, the original cut file layer um, and just layering that up on top of the background that I created. I kept the, the bit out of the R so that I could place the middle properly. Um, I threw the middles of these away because I just cleared my mat off and completely didn't realise. I cut out the bit where I'm colouring the, the white reels because they end up not using the white reels but and you saw me how I did the colouring um with the with the you know the outline for the, the base for the um for the title. Um I did show up on screen as well the page maps, it's August page maps that this was inspired by, um a sketch from this month's page maps. I used that as a jumping off point and then went slightly different with the placement of the title um, but I, th I think it still pretty much resembles the sketch. I'm just here creating my own epoxy flare with some naked epoxy from Hey Little Magpie and one of the die cut ephemera piece. Oh just I've not talked about the collection. Um, the, the background piece is from Sweet Talk, I think it is. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, so the black and white cream background is from uh, Sweet Talk, and then the rest of it is from Hello Today. Um, I'm just using my one inch circle punch here to punch out a couple of the florals from um, one of the pattern paper scraps that I have, and then just using these naked epoxy to. Um, to then make some epoxy flare out of those pieces. 
I could have used my badge maker and um, made turned them into button flower. I've got the We Are Memory Keepers button keep button maker, but I you know first thing I thought of was using that naked epoxy um, to to cover them. I do before I do anything else lift all this up. I'll put a, a floral piece on top of the flower that's already on the frame because I like the leaves coming off above the title. I just thought it added something. Um, and I've put the title up on, on 3D foam pads as well, so it's up above the frame. I'm just marking around the frame and the title piece now because I'm going to add some of the gelatos to the background. Do you mix it with the water this time and I use a brayer to apply. Um, this just inspired by something that I saw um, Sarah Davis do on one of her layouts the other day. She used distress oxides, I think it was, um, and I, I really loved it. Um, I've not got any clear gesso, so I am adding water to uh, paper here, so uh, it does buckle a little bit, but I do dry it off with the um, heat gun. And also, as well, I've not mentioned with the frame, you'll notice there's like a random die cut um, over with a, a word bubble, a speech bubble over on one side. Um, that was to cover the people sat on the end of the row next to us. Um, you know, it's I don't want to be putting somebody on YouTube who I don't have permission to scrap them on camera. Um, so I use that that smile speech bubble um, stick die cut to cover them up um, so that you're just getting um, the rest of the gang on there. Um, this was a trip to watch Top Gun Maverick June last year, and I know this month this second week's theme on 31 days cut files is everyday life um going to the cinema is everyday life for me and mr ding this was a bit of a special trip because it's a, a family trip my sister and my brother and my nieces and other halves um you know and oh and my sister's mother-in-law as well came with us she does love love a good film um she's 85 bless her and she absolutely loved i mean she watched top gun with us years ago and uh yeah she really enjoyed this um and yeah so just adding some pattern papers i've gone with um rather than multicolor papers there for, on these strips i've gone with three different colors where it's tone on tone or or cream um and i'm just cutting the pieces to fit either side of that frame um i have already when a prep the frame set so I prepped the frame before I started recording so that I could cover the uh, couple on the end um, uh, so when I was prepping that frame I've already written the date on it um, I haven't decided at this point where the journal is going but after I stick these strips down I find a journaling card out of the die cut ephemera from this collection that I like and um, I pop that under just below the title and you'll see that in, in a minute. Um, with the epoxy flare that I made, uh, I do also add them onto the reels that I've, I've cut separately to the main cut file. Uh, just lifting the title back up again to slide those strips underneath the title. So yeah, I will, you would have seen me as well smooshing some on, <laughs> smooshing some of the gelatos on the background as well. Um, it is quite subtle, but you can tell it's there. So with these epoxy pieces now, um, I do first of all go to use the multicolored ones that I've painted uh, with the gelato or smudged with the gelato, and decide actually I want that pop of black with all the colours on there to balance out against the title. Um, and the other one I'm just going to tuck below the title and just cutting bits off so I don't have to lift the title up again to slide it under. So here's the journaling card that I use, I decide, but I don't want that right now along the top. So I do just trim that off and stick that just below the title. Um, this was, most of us were using our Meerkat Movies codes. Um, so it was a Wednesday, <laughs> uh, so we could do two for one. Um, so yeah, that's I was just um, putting a box around the Wednesday on that journaling card. Um, 
this is nearly done and um, so just going to add these words on and there's another circle die cut that I do add which is when it occurs to me this month's hey little magpie challenge and um, from their design team is circles so i'll be entering this for that challenge as well because there's quite a few circles on here um thanks so much for stopping by we are nearly done I do add some nouveau as well um please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed check out the playlist for the rest of this um for the other people contributing videos for the hop especially mk and janet have organized it um thanks so much for your time have a great day take care bye, -bye.